just Jessica, and I don't know where the camera is, so forgive me if I'm not looking in it. But um, today it is the Women Who Collab week um, on Thursdays, and um, this week we're doing a vampire look, and I'm really excited about that because that's one of my favorite things to do. It's really simple, too. So um, <clears throat> let's get this video started. Okay, so I already got the shirt on. I'm not going to show that in the look. I don't think so. I'm not sure. But um, we are going to start off with a, I've already primed my face. And if you need a lot of primer, I suggest going to the Dollar Tree and getting this instead of using an expensive one because in the Halloween season, there's a lot of looks. You're going to be going through that expensive shit like nothing else. And that one you can use a lot of and it works really, really good. So first off, I am being inspired by Twilight. I have done a vampire look last year, but just the eyes. I went as Bella last year. I had the Converse, the skinny jeans. Um, I also did um, the red contacts, which I'll be doing in this one too. And, um, you know, just the whole thing. I did it last year. It was super fun. I went to work. And um, a lot of people didn't notice anything. They just thought I was wearing, like, regular clothes, like, um, you know, with the plaid shirt and everything until they noticed like the makeup and then they were like, Oh yeah, you Bella Swan. Well, anyways, I'm going to do the same kind of look. I, I hope my contacts work because they, they were dried up. My, my red ones, oops. And I had to let them soak for a good minute. That's the next step I'll be doing here after I get my my neck and my eyebrows done. Let's not forget the ears. And uh, I'm gonna finish up my neck and then I'll be back. So like my whole chest doesn't need to be done because it won't be showing that much, but up to the shoulders, like the, the bone right there, that's as far as I'm going. And um, it does look a little patchy right now, but it, it'll all blend out after I start doing the eyebrows, which I'm going to use Makeup Revolution. Um, my eyebrows are usually uh, very dark brown, and this is like a, almost like a black color. Uh, and we are going to do that now. <laughs> if I can find what I was going to show you. <clears throat> That's not bad. Well, damn, can I not? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. See, it's like really, really dark. And it's uh, getting a little stiff, so I'm just going to spray some spray in it. Just one little squirt. Use one of these brushes that I always use. And uh, let's get to it. Let's go there and just automatically go up. And it's going to be cool because with this, I can automatically change it into another clown look. All you got to do really is fix the eyes. Now, all year long, I do buy wigs. But in October, well, actually in September, August, September, I start buying. I don't buy a lot, but I do buy a little bit every year, like costume-wise. So, oops, and then I'll fix that. No, they don't really have to look natural. But when it comes to vampires, like back in the days, like with Lost Boys and all that, that was my like favorite back in the days. Um, I used to love those stories. Like even from little kid on with Count Dracula from Sesame Street with this ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <clears throat> so now I'm going to try to put these red lenses on. They've been soaking for a good hot minute. So when they're dried out, all you need is some contact solution, which is also better for your eyes than eye drops. Um, and put them in there. And you'll see at first, instead of expanding, they will shrink up like a flower-like at first. And then they, you know. So let's do this here. Hello, are you 
didn't go on the eyeball like you're supposed to. Like it doesn't want to. We'll try this again. I think they might just be fucked up. Yeah, I think they're fucked up. Let's try the other eye. Maybe that works. If not, I'll just fix up the makeup and continue on without them. I got these from My Eye Web last year. I think I paid five bucks for them. They were like a hot sale or something like that. It's not going to work. Well, this one kind of does, but it's very irritating, so I'm going to take it out. I'll try it another day. This just ain't, this ain't happening. So you take it out. I almost had it. There we go. Shit ain't happening this year, so let's get that brush again. All right, now with the shadow. And then I'm gonna go over it again. Because now I just reddened the fuck out of my eyes. Okay, but I'm going to do one eye first. I'm using the cremated palette because it's just got all the colors I need, which are typically the colors that you see. Okay, so I'm going to go with this Life Insurance first, which has a hearse on it. That's pretty cool. I am doing a hearse tour this year. In Savannah, we got the tickets in July. Um, and we could only get the 29th because in July they were already sold out for Halloween and Hallow's Eve. So we had to take the 29th instead, which was, we don't care because uh, I, I get off Saturday mornings early and then I can take a nap and just go to the ghost, the hearse tour. Uh, I think I'm going to dress up to go to, I don't know, I probably will. Who cares? It's gonna be fun. Um, my friend's never been. I have a girlfriend. She comes over on Sundays, and we watch horror movies and uh, anything new on horror movies. Um, and we eat and we do stuff like this a lot. We went to haunted houses in Claxton, which was private. The haunted forest stuff like that. I took Tracy last year to the haunted forest. It was quite delightful. And uh, so we're just going to do this gray right here. Then I'm going to go in with a, like a grunge. This is called Rip. It's got Jeffree Star with a halo on it. And I'm just going to go right here. Because it's just, it's like a greenish gray. As you can tell, it's a little darker. I love this palette, especially in this time of year. So, you know, I don't need... October to feel grungy. I do it all year long. That's why my friend Sue gave me this palette. She said I got to have it. And I said thank you, Sue. Her birthday is Hallow's Eve. And so we are all doing for Char's Fashion Nation a spooky video. And mine is going to be I'm going to Savannah. Savannah's right around the corner from here. Okay, so after that, I'm going to take this uh, hearse, which is the black. It would have looked so much nicer with the damn lenses. But um, I, I can't do that shit to my eyes. If they're not working right, they're not working right. So I'm not going to wear a wig because I don't think I really need it. Okay, then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to use this Angel of Death, which is like a black glitter. 
let's see. With lots of sparklies. Oh gosh, look at my hands, they're filthy. <clears throat> Is there one left? To the other side. Okay, let's just blend that out a little bit. Then we're going to go in with Paul Bearer. Which is this beautiful silver. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I like that. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna put on some liner and some mascara. <laughs> and for the liner, I'm gonna go ahead and do the under eye. I hope this video isn't so long, but I'm excited to do longer videos because my phone has been like fucked up for the last year, just about. Oh my God, I got blue instead. Can you believe this shit? Here, let me take that off. On the black right. liner. And I put it on and I'll, I'm just gonna smooth that out and then kind of drag this a little. It would have been better with red. Nonetheless, let's fix this area up that I messed up. And then we're gonna go for some kind to wear, but we're also gonna use gray. I'm gonna use from the same palette Wednesday. I like that. It's like one of the lightest cut of grays in here. Oh, hang on a second. I don't know about other people, but they talk about, oh, it's October 1st, it's Halloween season. And I'm like, that shit done started for me weeks ago. All right, I'm gonna kind of curve it into my cheeks just a little. All right, we're gonna go down here. Oh, I make sure to clean my brushes. So then I'm going to take that brush I did my eyeshadow with. Okay, so now for the lips. No blush for this girl here. That is a little too colorful. The white does disperse on the neck after a while. I can't help it. Okay, so let's go for the lips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Oh, I got them right here. I'm going to take this. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is actually pretty cool because it's kind of like two different things. It's got like a little one to line and a thick one. But my lips function better when I do a thick one. I 
I have teeth somewhere here and I can't find them. I told you, like, in this room. Forget it, girl. Okay, so then we're going to take Jeffrey's black lip gloss. I think it's called licorice or something. I'm not sure. Whatever. I have a wrinkle right here. It never wants to take color. So let me get my finished piece on and then I'll be right back. So here is the finished look. Damn, I wish I had my teeth in my eyes. If I had teeth, it would look so much better. And I got this cloak from Halloween, Spirit Halloween. And it is really good material. But anyways, y'all, this is the weekly collab from the women who collab. Go in the description box and you'll see a playlist and see who else is involved this week and how their vampire looks look. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. See you in the next one. Bye.